Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today it is August 1st actually. Welcome to August guys. And I'm actually resuming my daily vlog activities. Um, I just have a really exciting day today so I thought today would be a fun day to vlog for you guys. I have plans to go to the Hudson Yards at 1 p.m. for an appointment at Van Cleef. So I want to take you guys along with me there. I'm not sure if I can use my vlog camera there but I'll bring it with me and use my phone to insert clips if needed. And I've been really wanting a Van Cleef uh, Alhambra vintage size necklace. My two top of mind ones are the guilloche colored and the mother of pearl. So I'm gonna go and try out some of the colors, take a look around. Um, for dinner, I have a dinner date with my boyfriend tonight at Hyun, which is a Korean barbecue place in the city that has been trending and really viral on TikTok right now. But it's because they have this $100 all you can eat uh, barbecue and they actually have Japanese A5 Wagyu which is really rare. It's like an actual real one rather than just using the terminology. So I'm really excited for that and I'll take you guys along with me for the entire experience. Um, so yeah, we have a really exciting day. All right, this lighting is a little bit poor, so forgive me if I start turning orange, but guys, I got some crepe cake from Prince Tea House last night and it's their boba milk tea crepe cake. Um, and I'm really excited. It came with a little jar of boba. That's usually warm and also some cream Which I think I'm gonna skip because it's gonna make my stomach like literally kill myself I should not be having this as my first meal of the day, but It's just the only food that I have right now and it just looks so good Usually these things don't taste good like a day or two later So might as well eat it now before it goes bad basically is my logic, right? Comment down below if you guys also eat cake for breakfast, but that's what I'm doing for sure today. So this is exciting. Oh, look at that. And the top is all like flambéed and crispy. And look at how many layers there are. Guys, you can't tell me that this does not look amazing. Look at all that boba and all these layers underneath it. Oh, I'm so excited to take a first bite out of this. All right, here we go. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, I just love all the layers. Mm. Just as good second day, guys. Check them out. Prince Tea House. They have two locations that I know of in the city. There's one in the East Village and one I think in the Lower East Side. They make bomb desserts. And their place is just so cute. It's like a little tea house. It's so girly and pretty. They have chandeliers in there. Guys, you need to check it out. Definitely go and get yourself this boba milk tea crepe cake because it is bomb.com. Okay guys, so this is my outfit of the day. Don't get <laughs> don't get too caught up on the messy background. I'm currently doing my laundry. This dress is actually only 20 bucks from Shein and I ordered it from Amazon and I'm in slippers right now, but I'm probably either going to wear some sandals or my Gucci um, Ace sneakers. That's probably the outfit. And then as for my bag, I'm going to be carrying my Gucci what is this? Is this a wallet on chain? I think it's a wallet on chain. But I just thought it added a nice little pop of color. So this is my outfit for today. And yeah, I'm going to now subway to Manhattan West Hudson Yards. So let's go. It's sunny at most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong way. Maybe you should stay instead of turning around So, but you keep on going I know that you're in the open Hoping that you'll be okay Don't stay looking out the window And how late do you plan on going
The sun is setting down soon You'll never see the stars when you're all in your head You can find beauty in the night too But it's harder to see when you're stuck in a dream Okay, so update. I did go to Van Cleves. I actually did put down a 30% deposit for the Guilloche Vintage Alhambra Pendant Necklace. They didn't have it in store because they have an extreme shortage of that particular piece. So it's really unclear whether or not I'll get it within three months or within six months. Um, could be I get it next week, but the sales associate didn't sound that promising about it because apparently, um, I think... Europe is like going on vacation for August essentially and so I don't think I'm gonna be getting my guilloche pendant for a while but when I do it'll look dazzling and so beautiful guys I can't believe I got to try on a seven hundred and ninety five thousand dollar like necklace the sale associate was just so sweet that was I mean I've never tried on something so expensive before an extravagant that's literally close to a million dollars um, which is like a home at that point so um, I was just amazed. It was like beyond amazing, but I'm home now. I went to Dwayne Reed before I came home to get some laundry detergent and some trash bags and just things that I needed. So I think in terms of errands, I'm done for the day, but I have to do some laundry. I have an Amazon haul that I want to film because I bought a lot of like going out outfits for, um, Miami, this piece included from Shein. Um, and I was trying to do it on a budget and so I need to film that one. I'm a little disappointed that I won't be able to film like a, a Van Cleef haul for you guys today, but that's all right. I did get something exciting in the mail from Saks, which I need to open up and I'll probably show you guys a sneak peek of what it is here and do a full unboxing um, on this channel as part of my Amazon haul. All right guys, I'm like currently sitting on my floor right now, but I have a package from Saks Fifth Avenue that I think will be very exciting. And I'm a little upset because I literally just like dropped my vlog camera um, from a pretty high ceiling or a pretty high level. But this is really exciting because I got a pair of shoes from Cold Gaia. So we'll see if these are actually worth it. Shipping summary. I actually have shop runners, so it came super fast. But this is the initial unboxing comes with a dust bag pretty cool this looks like someone has like returned this before i don't know we'll see we'll see if i like this all right guys this is the initial view so these are originally 428 dollars and i got them for about 240 so I thought they were a steal, and I really love the heel of them, like, a lot. This is actually why I bought it, but it looks super uncomfortable. So I'm going to make a review about these. Um, all right, guys. So I am now ready to head to dinner soon. Um, I'm going to walk over to my boyfriend's, and then we're going to subway to Hyun. We finally made it. I'm so excited for dinner. Let's go. Let's try to sneak it. I think the, that soft spot or whatever the thing was is gonna be really pretty from all the photos. And the part we've got up on the wrist as well, like a lower, middle, and upper. We find that we have a rib line, so rib line can be like three parts. So we should put a rib line, rib line cap, and the rib line size and also we have the frenna, which is like a medium frenny from the bicep of the car and the last two cuts we need one my, uh, two of my face cut this is a fullest body and the fullest head fullest head can be like more tender than the fullest body which is from the front of the car that's how you have the first part
I have a few things that I have to do to wrap up the end of the night um, around editing these video clips that I gathered this weekend and also doing some more laundry, hanging up some wet clothes and just organizing my place a little bit. It's a little bit messy and not really where I like it to be. So I'm going to spend some time doing that. I smell like barbecue right now, but my dinner was absolutely amazing. Um, literally, it was 135 per person for all you can eat Japanese Wagyu, which is like their second tier of all you can eat. There's like a lower one for like 100 per person. We got the 135 one. Um, and I am so stuffed. Like I am beyond stuffed right now. I feel a little uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. So like I feel really sleepy and I wanna end the vlog here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed my really exciting daily vlog today. I feel like I had a lot of fun things this weekend and I'm glad I can share it with you guys. And if you like these kind of videos, please show me some support by giving it a big thumbs up and also subscribing to my channel if you're interested in seeing more vlogs of my life. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and for watching my channel. And with that, I'm gonna say good night to all of you. Have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.